Welcome to the town of Whopperburg, a town with a sheriff who's not afraid to stand up for what is right, what is good, and what is true. His name is Honest John Forthright, and he's as honest as they come. But some people in the town of Whopperburg don't share his honest views. Every day, Honest John must battle low-down, dirty scoundrels and expose their crime for what it really is, dishonesty. In this week's episode, we find that Honest John's deputy has just retired, and he's in search of an honest man to take his place. Will he find the right man to stand by his side to fight the low-down, dirty scoundrels? Starring... Honest John. Rusty Trusty. Wild Bill Hiccup. Silent Sue. Butch Tappity and the Square Dance Kid. Josie Jones. Ma Jones. How am I gonna find the right deputy? Lord, please, please bring me the right fella to fill this position today. I'm gonna need the help. Well, howdy, Butch. Howdy, kid. Howdy, Sheriff. Hey, what can I do for you fellas today? I'm here applying for the job of your deputy. And if you ain't what you're looking for, I'll be your deputy. All right, let me take a look over here at your applications. You know, my uh, my last deputy, he uh, he retired. Old Coop couldn't shoot a gun anymore, could he? <laughs> That's a good one, Butch. No, that ain't it, that ain't it. Seems like he and his wife invested in the railroad a few years back. That's right. He and his wife, well, they decided to go do some traveling. But that's neither here nor there for you fellas. I'm here looking for an honest man to be my new deputy. In this town, we got a lot of thieves and outlaws coming through, so I can't afford to have a dishonest man sitting at my side. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. But that ain't what you really need, Sheriff. <laughs> no, sir. It isn't? No, siree. You need a guy who's got some flair, some character, and could handle a gun, you know? Well, I can sure see why they call you boys Butch Tappity and the Square Dance Kid. Sure do. Been calling me that ever since I was a kid. You know what? I'd take something from my brother, or I'd take something from my friends, and I'd do a victory dance just like this. Yep, and every time I'd cheat a friend in the schoolyard, I'd do a dance like this. I see, I see. You boys can settle down now, goodness. It says here on your application that uh, your best qualities are lying, cheating, and getting what you want. Explain to me how those are good qualities. Duh, Sheriff. <laughs> Duh. It shows I'm willing to do anything to get those bad guys. I'll lie, I'll cheat, I'll do whatever it takes to get those bad guys in jail. <laughs> he sure will, Sheriff. Make no mistake about that. <laughs> well, I appreciate your passion for getting those bad guys in jail. But around here, we're going to go by the book. The Bible, that is. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we could bend the rules a little, can't we, Sheriff? Come on. I know, Sheriff. I mean, does it have to be so black and white? <laughs> you know what, fellas? I really do appreciate you coming in today. Butch, I'm sorry. You're just not the right fit for this position. Sorry, buddy. Uh, it's too bad, Butch. What about me, Sheriff? I got pretty good squirt instant skills and I ain't too bad with a gun, neither. I don't think you're the right fit for the job either. Sorry, kid. You're not really going to give me the position? <laughs> nope. That's the truth, Butch. You can't do this to me. I'm Butch Tappity. And you can't do this to me neither. I'm the square dance kid. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't give me the job of the deputy. I can't believe they didn't give me the job neither. I was talking about me, you square dancing fool. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Butch, but what are we gonna do now? That was our ticket to fortune and fame. I don't know, I don't know, but we'll think of something, kid. Yes, we will, because we're the biggest lioness cheaters in the whole darn county. Hey, little doggies and life kids, where do cowboys go on dates? To the movies, yeah. Ooh, where's my popcorn? What? 
Lord, please help the next man that walks in this door be the right man for the job. Amen. Well, hello. How Hi. are you? Good. Name's uh, Rusty Trusty. Honest John. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm here to apply for your deputy position. You got my telegraph, didn't you? I sure did. Have a seat. Let's get to oh, answering some questions. Now, it's been a long day, Rusty. Let me. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. You ready? Yeah. Well, some people tell the truth when they think they're gonna get a new job, or you know, just uh, sometimes only when people are watching. Is that what you think honesty is? Well, I can tell you that I ain't honest because I want this job, or even because I'm afraid of getting caught, but I believe that Jesus was an example on this earth. And since I follow Jesus, I want to be more like him. That's why I try to be honest. I ain't perfect, and sometimes I mess up, but I strive to live my life by telling the truth. Rusty, looks like you've got a good head on your shoulders. How'd you like to be the next deputy? I'd be honored. That'd be great. You know what, Rusty? You need If you're looking for a place to stay, there's a great on place down here on the road. It's called uh, Ma's Boarding House. It's a good place. got some good grub, and uh, she can sure put you up there. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. You can come by here. We'll swear you in. How's that sound? That sounds great. Thanks. All right. Can you believe it? God answered my prayer. He sent me an honest man right here to be my deputy. You know, it's important that you and I are honest. Not because we're afraid of getting caught or in trouble, but because Jesus is honest. And because we follow Jesus, we want to be just like him and tell the truth, no matter what. Howdy there, life kids. I got a joke for you. Are you ready? Why did the cowboy put his bunk over the campfire? So he could sleep like a log, silly. <laughs> You never believe what I just heard. Mr. Wilson having to sell on tap shoes? No! Oh, <laughs> the sheriff just hired himself a new deputy. Goes by the name of Rusty Trusty. Right? He's staying at Ma Jones' boarding house, and Silent Sue told me that the reason he got hired is because he's real good with a gun. Silent Sue told you? You know she's the biggest gossip in this whole town? She said her sources were reliable. <laughs> well, we'll just have to go pay a visit to this here new deputy. Yes, we will. What's my first assignment? Well, Deputy, I think the two of us ought to go out to the town of Walkerburg, walk around a little bit, and just see how things are going today. What do you think? Sounds great, partner. Sure. You don't mind me asking, Sheriff. Why are you so fired up about being honest anyway? Well, I'll tell you. You know, Deputy, my daddy was a well-respected man in his town. And it wasn't because he had a fast gun. It's because he was honest. And he always made a real big deal about me being honest also. You know, I remember that he was always telling me this story about these guys in the Bible. Now these guys in the Bible, they were given a boatload of money, more money than you and I'll ever see in our lifetimes. And it was to rebuild the temple. Hope the king kept track of all the money he gave them. You know what, deputy? He didn't have to. Why? Because these guys, their reputations were that they were honest men. Now if you have a reputation for being an honest man, it's, well, the king, he didn't have to at all send anybody to go with these guys and watch over them because he knew that they weren't going to steal that money and keep it for themselves. Sounds like a couple of pretty honest fellas. Sure were. You know, my father always told me he wanted that kind of reputation. He wanted people to trust him like that and not to worry if he was telling a lie or not. So you know what? He made sure that I was telling the truth all the time. And if he ever caught me in a little white lie, well, after he'd light a fire under my rear end. Well, after he'd do that, well, he would remind me of that story. This led me to follow my father's example of being an honest man. And I wanted to be just like that my whole life. Sounds like a great man. He was, he is a great man. Was, he's still around. Yeah. He's just not around town. Yeah. Anyway, it really was one of my life goals to be just exactly like him when I grew up. Okay, you ready to get a, take a gander out here at Old Whopperburg? Let's do it. Let's go, buddy. Reach for the sky! Oh yeah! Put the gun down, Butch. Put it down. My business ain't here with you, it's with this deputy. I heard you got the job because you're the fastest gun in the West, and I want to put you to the test. 
Well, I ain't the fastest gun in the West. I don't know where you got your information, mister. The only reason I got this job is because Honest John here likes the fact that I'm an honest man. It's true. I didn't hire, I didn't hire him because he was a fast gun. It's because he's honest. I knew it. I knew it. Shouldn't have listened to that slide scoundrel of a woman. That lying guy's been goose of a woman. Sure glad it ain't true. I could stand not getting a job because ain't being honest, but because you got the faster gun than me? No way! Yeah, we don't really care about that honesty stuff because everybody knows we're the rottenest, dirtiest scoundrels in the whole county! Yeah! Hey, you boys! Butch! You and your friend better stay honest! If I catch you being dishonest in this town, you'll wind up in my jail! Right here in my jail cell! Hey, life kids, you sons and daughters of the high prairies! Why are cowboys and cartoonists alike? They both have to learn to be quick on the draw! <laughs>
You had quite a first day on the job, didn't you, Deputy? Sure did. You know, don't you mind that old Butch Tappany and the Square Dance Kid. They are some lying, cheating scoundrels, but they are absolutely harmless with a gun. Although, something tells me that their lying tongues are going to get them in a heap of trouble. Someday. That's a guarantee. Yeah. Anytime we ain't honest, it always leads us to more trouble. You're exactly right, Deputy. But we shouldn't just tell the truth because we don't want to get in trouble. We should tell the truth because God is honest. And since we follow God, we want to be more like Him. Couldn't agree with you more, Honest John. Kids, it's like the story Honest John's father told him about the temple builders. They was honest because it was right, not because they were afraid. Yep, they sure had honest character, didn't they, Deputy? All this money was given to them, and they didn't even have to have somebody standing over them making sure that they would steal that money. They were known for being honest, just like my daddy was. <laughs> and just like this guy here followed his father's example. We should follow our Heavenly Father's example, too. We should try and be honest just like him. You know what, Deputy? I got a little saying that my daddy taught me to remind me to be honest. Now, I'm going to say it first, and then you guys repeat it after me. You ready? I'm ready. Because our God is true, y'all be honest too. Because our God is true, y'all be honest too. Wow. Now, you know what, Deputy? I think we need to give these buckaroos a little chance to say it a little bit louder. What do you say? Okay, I'm going to say it again, and y'all say it with good old Deputy here. Ready? All right. Cause our God is true, y'all be honest too. Cause our God is true, y'all be honest too. Good, Good job, kids. Ooh. Remember that cause our God is truthful, we want to be just like him and be honest ourselves. That is exactly right. Deputy, it has been a long day and I am bushed. What do you say we head on home? Sounds good to me. Night, kids. Night, kids. See you later. In next week's episode of Scoundrels, terror strikes the town of Whopperburg when Butch Tappity and the Square Dance Kid are caught in a cave-in at the Lucky Duck Mine. Will Honest John and Rusty Trusty save them in time, or will they be trapped forever? Tune into next week's episode of Scoundrels to find out. Howdy! Let me tell you the best Bible story ever. It's about you. Did you know that you're in the Bible? You are! The Bible's all about how much God loves you. You see, folks, God wants to be friends with you. But all of us have sinned, and sin, well, that keeps us from being friends with God. But there's good news. God sent His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us so we can be right with God. But knowing this in your head ain't enough. You gotta make the choice in your heart to follow Jesus with all your life. How do you do that? First you, A, admit. Admit what you've done is wrong and tell God you don't wanna sin anymore. B, believe. Believe that God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven and that you are now right with God. C. Confess. Confess to others that Jesus is your boss and your best friend. This will keep your friendship with God strong. God loves you. God wants you to be his friend. But you got to be willing to let God be in charge of your life. When you decide to follow Jesus with all your heart, the best thing you have is Jesus right by your side. Well, that sounds pretty good, don't it? Well, that's all I got. Hope to see you around town soon. <laughs>